Father, for your mercy and for your grace. Thank you for this wonderful day you've made for us to rejoice and be glad in it. Blessed be your name. Thank you for grace. We are grateful for grace. We are grateful for the grace that you have showered upon us throughout the year 2021. We are thankful for your mighty deliverances. Thank you. You rescued us from the dungeon of hell. You raised us up and cleaned us up. You gave us a new life and a new nature. You opened our eyes to a new way of seeing and being and living. Thank you, Father, for this wonderful gift of life, this life that we have in Christ Jesus. We are honored, Lord, because our sins are forgiven. We can live guilt-free. We can live shame-free. We can live without any sense of condemnation because you loved us. You came for us. You rescued us. You changed us. You raised us up. You transformed our lives. We are thanking you, Lord, knowing that your grace has been made abundant over our lives. Thank you because your goodness has overpowered us. Thank you because your mercy has overshone shone over our lives. We wake up into a new dawn of mercy. We wake up into a new dawn of grace. We wake up into a new season of thanksgiving and rejoicing. We look from where we have come from the past. We look at where you are taking us into the future because you have already certified and made our future complete and perfect in Christ. We know we are on that pathway of excellence, that pathway of goodness, that pathway of favor, that pathway knowing that you are on our side. For if you spared not your son, you will with him, through with him, and in him give us all things. We thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. We are eternally grateful for healings. You have set us free from the flesh and the oppression of the flesh. You've set us free from the sicknesses and the viruses that are around and abound around our neighborhood and around the society. Thank you for healing us, healing our soul, healing our minds, healing our flesh. In the name of Jesus, thank you, Lord, for pouring out your blessings in numerous ways. You have been our source, our supply, our place of stay, our sustenance. Truly you are indeed our Father. We recognize how much you have supplied our needs when we thought all our heads, all our, our backs were on the wall. You brought us out. You made our supplies guaranteed. Hallelujah. Thank you for the needs you've met. Thank you for the needs you are meeting. Thank you for the supplies you are bringing. Thank you for the gift of family. Thank you for the gift of friendship. Thank you for the gift of the revelation of the Spirit of Christ. Thank you for the gift of understanding. Thank you for the gift of favor. Thank you for the gift of wisdom. We live in a place of grace. We live in a place of the abundance of your grace. We are surrounded by grace everywhere we go to. We are surrounded by grace when we lie down. We are surrounded by grace when we go out. We are surrounded by grace in everything we do. We thank you in the name of Jesus. Our hearts are filled with gratitude. For in all things we thank you. For, for all things we thank you. For through all things we thank you. In the name of Jesus. In all things we thank you. When we thought our lives were lost, we thank you because you didn't allow our lives to be lost in the maze of life. You brought us out. You brought up us out from the place of confusion. For every place we were confused and depressed, you brought light to our hearts. You brought relationships that energized and quickened and strengthened us. You brought encouragement our way. You opened our eyes of understanding. You opened our ears to hear. This is the way walk in it. You gave us direction. Hallelujah. Truly, you are a good God indeed. We have lived in your grace. When we thought our actions and our mistakes and our missteps have disqualified us from your love, your love cut us in the place of sin, in the place of mistakes, in the place of our misdemeanors. Lord, your love cut us and you looked at us and smiled and said, you are loved, you are forgiven. You are guaranteed my love every day and every season of your life. Through every season you are still loved. In every season you are still the loved one I have and I died for. Hallelujah. You have come, shown us compassion that might that beyond, that begins, our life bigger than our imagination. You've shown us compassion when we didn't even deserve it. 
You've shown us mercy when we didn't even deserve it. You've shown us kindness when we didn't even labor for it. You've shown us that we don't need to qualify for your grace. That you are always going to be with us and for us every day of our lives. Thank you, Heavenly Father. Thank you, Lord, for this wonderful grace you've given to us. We prosper by your grace. We advance because of your grace. We excel because your grace is for us. We excel in all we do. We excel in everywhere we go because your grace has been for us. So, Lord, we thank you. Thank you for this wonderful gift. Thank you for this wonderful opportunity. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. You are such a good girl. Thank you, Lord. You are such a good God. Thank you for this new day. Thank you we step into a place of divine possibilities because you are with us. Thank you for all the things you are working with us, accomplishing through us, making to happen for us. Thank you, making to happen on our behalf. Thank you for the deliverances. Thank you for divine protection. Thank you for divine inspiration. Thank you for divine guidance. Thank you for divine clarity. Thank you for divine wisdom in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. The lilies of the valley have not been catered for more than we are. Hallelujah. If you look and cared for all the lilies of the valley, if you look and fed all the beds of the air, how much more you will shower your kindness and your goodness all over us. We are, uh, 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 we are the epistles. We are the ones that you have shown kindness. We are the evidence of your goodness. We are the evidence and the witnesses of your mercy. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We lift our voice and say thank you. We lift our hearts and say thank you. Blessed be your name. Blessed be your name in the name of Jesus. Thanking you because of our sins are forgiven. Thanking you because our lives are transformed. Thanking you because your mercy is abundant. Thanking you because your grace is always available. Thanking you because your light is shining in our hearts. In the same way you commanded light to shine out of darkness, you have commanded it to shine in our hearts. Thanking you because you have given us favor, the Lord. Favor in the city, favor in the field, favor in everywhere we go to. <clears throat> Thank you, you Lord, know, for your forgiving us and wiped our debts clean. Hallelujah. Our debts are clean. Our sins are forgiven. Our sins are washed away. Blessed be your name, Lord. In Jesus' name. Amen. Spend today in Thanksgiving. Just bask in the grace of God. When the scripture talks about in all things give thanks, just look at how his grace has delivered you. Someone used to say, and I believe it, that you may not have all you need, but you are you have made progress from where you are. No, you may not look at yourself and say, I, I don't have all my situations resolved, but one thing you have resolved is that God is on your side and God is with you. And he has left you step by step, day by day. Every day is an experience of his grace. Every day is an experience of his mercy. And bask in that. Bask in that. And enjoy that. For our life is a progression of grace upon grace upon grace upon grace. And that will be your experience throughout this week. Father, we thank you. We know grace is for us. Grace has appeared to us. Grace is with us. Grace has shone over us. And we thank you for grace in the name of Jesus. Amen and amen. Spend the day in thanksgiving. Don't just spend the day complaining and grumbling. The Bible speaks about replacing murmuring and complaints with thanksgiving. Take out time today and spend time in thanksgiving. This is prayer banquet. Hallelujah. And I'll see you tomorrow on prayer banquet. You are blessed by the favor and the grace of God. And no man can, re can reverse God's goodness already released in your favor. In Jesus' name. Amen.